Okay, so everyone who saw me driving this week, family, friends, neighbors, my physio, even the garbage guy who just saw us shooting this video, everyone commented on this car. Once you see the Toyota CHR, you can't unsee it. It's Toyota's entry into the small SUV market. It's going up against cars like the Mazda CX-3 and the Honda HR-V. I'm driving the Cobra, which is the top of the range version, and I'm gonna give you five reasons I loved it as a family car and five reasons I wasn't so impressed with it for a family. Number one, the look. Now, expect your car to be a talking point. I have literally had two guys come up and ask me about it since we started filming. We've had comments like, it's sporty, it's weird, and what is that? The, what I've noticed is the men really liked the look of it. They liked that it looked sporty and they liked that it was different to a traditional SUV. The women were a bit confused by it, like, what's it trying to be? But the fact is, it's different. It's the kind of car you buy when you're in between stages. So you might have already had a child or you've got one on the way and you know you should be thinking about an SUV, but you just don't want to buy a family looking car. The CHR is for those people who want to dip one toe in and one toe out of the family car category. Number two, the zippiness. It's really fun to drive. It's got a 1.2 litre turbo engine, which sounds small, but is really all you need. Like family driving in suburbia or in the city, gets you from here to there, no trouble, no questions asked. It's smooth, it's easy, it's quick, it's quiet. And you know, you just kind of jump in and go. There's no getting in and thinking about the size of your vehicle as you're about to take off because it's little and compact and it's, you know, it, it's a no-brainer. Number three, the interior space. Looking at this car from the outside, it looks quite small and I was worried there wouldn't be enough room for my girls who are four and six, but there is. I mean, it's not like they're in a Kluger, they can't get in here and swing around, but if you don't need loads of room, then this is fine. It also has enough boot space to fit the Cars Guide Pram in it, which the Mazda CX-3 doesn't. Now the Honda HR-V is bigger than this boot, but the key takeaway is that the Toyota CHR has a big enough boot space. Number four, fuel consumption. It's cheap to drive. Now, if you've got a family and you're budgeting, that is so important. And it's an easy way to cut costs in a family budget. Number five, you've got all of your safety features. You've got your seven airbags, tick. Your two ISOFIX points, tick. Auto emergency braking, tick. Reverse parking camera, tick. All of those new technologies are covered. Now for the things that didn't impress me in my week of driving the CHR. Number one, the design. Yes, it's exciting, but it also kind of makes you feel like you're driving a remote control car. You know the ones that are made to look really sporty because little kids will love that? That's what it's like, and I guess that's why the guys liked it. It's certainly breaking boundaries, that's for sure. Okay, number two. Now, it's not the interior space so much because we've already talked about that and that's fine. It's more the fact that there's this panel here because of the way, the sporty way the car's shaped and it goes up at the back. This panel makes things a little bit dark in the back seat, which kind of creates a sense of crampedness. Cozy, sure, if you want your kids to fall asleep in the back, but it's not light, it's not airy. It doesn't feel as spacious as it could. Number three is it's low on cabin storage. Now there are two cup holders here and here. There's a bottle holder in each door and there are pockets on the back of the seats and that's about it. Now personally, I need a space to chuck my sunnies, my keys, my wallet, my phone, somewhere here. There's a tiny shelf here for your phone, but that's about it. And I have been driving this all week and I've been throwing things straight into the cup holders, which kind of renders the cup holders useless. Number four, no air vents back here. Now I know it's a small SUV and the air will travel from front to back theoretically, but my children thought differently and I'm sure on a hot summer's day, yours will too. Now most other small SUVs don't have air vents back here either. So the CHR is only matching up to the others in its class. 
but this is a freshly designed car and it was an opportunity to one-up their competitors in that space and it didn't. The great news is that I can't think of a number five, which means the good outweighs the not so good. So if you are looking for a car in the small SUV category, then I would probably consider the Toyota CHR. I mean, it looks pretty rad, it drives really well, and the interiors are surprisingly spacious. I give it a family rating of seven out of 10.